Good afternoon. I've moved the computer. I don't really like it, but I've moved it to give me more space for this big chair that I sit in at the moment. But I'm not happy with it, but never mind. I have more space than I had in the position it was before. So never mind that. I'm going to share with you uh, the 4th of January Healing Prayers for Every Day 2022 In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen Angel of God, my guardian dear to whom God's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide Amen Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. O oh my God, I am sorry for all my sins, because they offend you, who are so good, and with your help I will not sin again. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The reading is taken from Matthew 10, verse 8. Cure the sick. You receive without payment. Give in the same way. The Reflection Jesus came to give us the good news in two ways. One was by preaching and the other was by healing. Today, some people do not want to hear the Gospel, but they are open to healing on one or many of the human human levels, physically, emotionally, psychologically, relationally or spiritually, which is the most important for eternity. The prayer. Lord Jesus, you know where I need healing most. Lay your hands on me and let me experience your loving touch. Come, Lord Jesus, and let me receive all you have for me. Amen. Yes, healing is very important. The, the, the longer I've lived, the, the more I realise how important the ministry of Jesus Christ was at that time, and even now in our time it's more important than ever because there's so much satanic things happening all around us in the world and in Jeremiah God said I will hear your prayers 29 verse 12 when someone has been hurt and the blame directed towards yourself you will have found that there's so little which can be done immediately. Persuasion or anger may seem only to make matters worse. In my intimate knowledge of the factors involved, you must bring it to me, the Lord, immediately. As a duty, ask for forgiveness for anything which I see to have been wrong or cause a causative on your part. With absolute confidence, give the heart of the persons to me, Jesus. 
trust in the victory of my good influence over evil whenever prayer is made. Give the circumstances to me, Jesus, so that I may bring good out of them. Thank me that I am doing so. Let me keep out disturbed feelings and the pressure to put things right in your way. Let me, Jesus, my love and approval, feed your spirit. Be ready for my promptings about what you can do with wisdom and grace, knowing that already my influence has been upon those concerned, including yourself. That's from a book, I Am With You, Divine Help for Today's Needs, by Father John Woolley. God rest his soul. I knew him personally. He wrote some lovely, lovely words, as if they were coming from the Lord. Thank you so much for listening. May God heal you. I'm sending you his blessings and peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And thank you so much for listening and your comments. And God bless you.